Hello and welcome back to Kenwoven. I'm Rebecca Robeson and today I have another spring and summer video that I'm going to show you where we update a different room in my house. So far I've already uploaded things like my guest bedroom which is where I'm sitting today. I've done my family room and my living room and my music room. Oh my closet. Have you seen my closet? That's a great one. You gotta go watch it if you haven't seen it. But today we're gonna do the guest bathroom. Now I want to give you a little backstory. If you are a Design Sessions member, you already know the backstory because we uploaded a video all about my sad saga on my guest room, okay? But it was also kind of the catalyst to me making the decision to not stay in this home forever, but to move to a piece of property. I bought a piece of land and I'm building my dream home. And a lot of that happened as a result of me wanting to renovate my guest bathroom. So I did what I always do. I designed it in SketchUp and I came up with a fabulous guest bathroom. Only the price of the bathroom came back and it was $100,000. So that's when I started to go, oh, there's no way I'll get that money out of this house if I ever sell this house. Now, if I was, if I was gonna live here forever, if this was my forever home, maybe. But even for me, that is just excessive. So I went back to my SketchUp model and I dumbed it down. I came up with a more modified version and the bid came back and you know how much that one was? $50,000. That's still a lot of money to put into a guest bathroom. Why did I want to even do my guest bathroom in the first place? Well, let's take a look at what the house looked like when I bought it. And then after I moved in, I used what I had. Okay. Pedestal sink, no storage. So I brought in these gray flannel boxes that I had and I st stacked them on either side and I thought, you know, that's a pretty creative solution, if I say so myself, to at least be able to put some stuff in there for guests to use since there's no countertop space. So here's what I had to do. I had to have a come to Jesus moment with Becky. And I had to decide how much money do I wanna spend? Do I need to do it at all if I'm gonna sell the house in three years? Well, yeah, because three years is a long time. I don't wanna live with it. There were things in that bathroom that I couldn't live with. So I had to go, okay, how much will I spend or do I wanna spend? What can I get away with to make it look better than it does now, but not break the bank? And that's how I decided where my money was gonna be spent hiring a painter and they came in and they painted the walls out simply white. One of my favorite colors by Benjamin Moore. And I'm telling you that already made such a difference. And the second thing was I hired a shower door company to come and replace the enclosure and the glass doors. And seriously, those two things, I can live with the bathroom the way it is now just having done those two things. So it's all about prioritizing. What bugs you and what do you need to change no matter what? Look at the walls. Don't they look so much better? The green has now dissipated somewhat and having this simply white on the walls made such a difference. Now I'll tell you that I typically do, this is actually a Benjamin Moore paint that's called Bath and Spa. It's a flat finish, which is what I like. Remember back in the day, if you had paint in a wet area, they always made you do a gloss kind of paint, like a semi-gloss or a high gloss because I don't know, the water beads off it or something, I don't know. But this is spa and bath paint and it will hold up, but it doesn't have that shiny look. It has much more of an organic flat look, which I love. And then I also had them paint out the ceiling. Just giving it a fresh coat of paint made such a difference. But look, there, it's frameless glass. They're on hinges that are the clips. So it's very modernized. Now, here's where I saved a lot of money, right? This bathroom was only done in $3,000. I would love to have, eaten, well, I would have loved to taken all this green marble out, but a lot of people like it. Uh, but most importantly, I would have wanted to take it to the ceiling. I hate it when they stop, you know, 12, 18 inches below the ceiling. I mean, it just drives me nuts. What could I have done? I could have 
faux finished around the top in the green. And honestly, I would have if there was a natural stopping point. But you see how this comes to here? I felt like if, if it had gone you know, to the wall, then painting that above there would be fine. But when there's a natural stopping point, to create a line in, of the paint from here to here, I just don't think it looks that good. So I was like, okay, just bite the bullet and learn to live with it. And it's a guest bathroom. I'm not in here that much anyway. And my guests probably don't care. They're just happy to be here. Let's talk about some of the housekeeping things that I did. Now, these are all things that are inexpensive. I mean, when you, when you add them up, you know, you do a bunch of them, they can add up to a couple hundred dollars or more, but it makes such a nice difference and makes your room feel fresh. First off, there was a fan. I jokingly called it smoker's teeth. That's what it looked like. It was the most hideous fan. So we replaced the fan. We also replaced the can lights that were in the ceiling. And why did I do that? Well, I like things to look consistent and the trims are the same and then the bulbs. Well, here's what I did. I got smart bulbs. So I put those in here and I can actually change the color hue or I can dim things simply by saying, Alexa, turn on a warmer guest bathroom. Fancy. Do you know I was watching a show the other night on Netflix and they said Alexa something and oh, I was, that was it. They talked about a song and the song came on while the movie was playing. It was hilarious. I'm like, what is going on here? She's very alert, astute, that one. And at this point, the only thing left was to get new accessories and some art pieces. I'm not talking about original art. I'm talking Target, three of these leaps. So I put two here and one above the toilet. And what I loved about it is it's got the greens, so many different shades of green. And I knew that this, this marble in here, this green is like, it's got emerald green in it, but also has like almost a teal color. And this had it in it, so I thought that was great. But the framing on this, it's like that natural light wood frame, looks sort of spa-esque. That beautifully tied in these little, I guess they're towel holders, but they have a, um, a stand on the bottom, which was perfect because it has the slatted wood on the bottom, which also looks spa. Again, this is a spring summer update. So I'm trying to get that spa natural springy look, right? I think I've accomplished it. You, you can let me know. But this is great for stacking towels that are folded and for having hand towels and washcloths as well. So here I have the towels on this side as well. I included a fresh green plant. But I think this is much more open, springy, summery than what I had before. I kept my mirror here, which I love. When you have a awkward space like this, where you've got a vanity, and then you've got windows above the vanity, I mean, where are you gonna put a mirror, right? This one was perfect. And also I thought the round shape was very needed in this room but it allows the light to filter in on the sides and then going up to the top where it has a mounting screw, that, that sort of bridges the gap between the drywall and the plantation shutters. I wanted to show you the special hand soap and body lotion and shower gel and soap that I got from a company called, I wanna say La Citon in Provence. I probably just butchered the name, so I'm gonna show it to you. Again, not a sponsored video, but this was a gift from one of my viewers and she got me one for both of my bathrooms and it's an amazing company. I love their product. I just wish they would have called it Barbara or something like that. I think I made myself clear that this green marble is not my favorite thing in the world. The green bathroom was not my favorite thing in the world. But when you have to keep something, you have to live with it. That's what I did with the art pieces, right? It pulls the green in, but then I made the white and the bamboo color more predominant. However, the floor is the same marble. So 
what did I do? Well, I got myself an area rug from Home Goods, and I laid it out and it is that natural and off-white color. And what that did was it covered, I'm thinking almost 50% of the floor. <gasps> 50% less green. That's good if you ask me. So let me know, do you like the rug? Do you think it sort of pulled all the natural elements together and toned down the green just a little bit? I think so. I wouldn't keep this in here year round, but anytime I have guests, I put fresh flowers in the bathroom because I think number one, it smells good. And it also, again, gives my, my guests that, Welcome to La Citon in Provence. Did I say that right? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at what this wall looked like before. Yes, there was a toilet here and there was a very skinny, no big deal mirror right here. So I took that mirror out and if you saw the guest bedroom episode in the spring and summer updates videos, you'll see that I actually put it on the door in the guest bedroom, which I think is more valuable than in here, because I do have a mirror in here as well. I do have a hook for a robe, and I love to leave a robe in a guest bathroom and a guest bedroom. Uh, first off, I have a pool, so it's nice for them to have like a spa robe, just like you would in a hotel. So I leave those hanging here, roll the sleeves up, and it's now for my guests. But what I love about this particular robe is it's lightweight. So in the summer, this, these are my summer spa robes. I do have winter spa robes too. Just depends on what time of the year you come to visit. So what do we have here? What we have is a break. When you first walk in here, I, I'm a huge lover of Boston ferns, but I love what I did here. You know why? Take a look at the before picture and see what stands right here. What is it? Well, it's a very fancy plant holder with a faucet. And in some countries, they call that a bidet. So what do you think? Do you like how the bathroom turned out? Don't judge me too harshly. I only spent $3,000. That's not a lot when you're making a lot of changes. I think the changes that I did make were the important ones. And I think the point that I wanna leave you guys with is, you know, life is all about seasons, the seasons of our life, what we can afford when, what's going on, do we have young kids, are we retired, what is going on in your life, and making your decisions on your home decorating projects based on what's important to you at the time. I'm feeling good. If you want to know more about this bathroom, join the design sessions. If you're not a member, you really should be. But all of the things that I talked about today are the things, the principles that design sessions members know, and they are exercising in their own homes. And you could be too. So I'm excited for you to join us, but there is an episode specifically on this bathroom where I show you what the $100,000 bathroom design was, and what the $50,000 bathroom design was. And then, you know what I actually ended up doing. So I hope you like it, and I hope you would be happy to be, stay in a bathroom like this if you were a guest in my home. I can tell you, I'm pretty happy, and I am looking forward to the next person who comes to visit me and stay in my house. They're gonna get to shower in this new shower. Well, the glass doors are new anyway. So is the shower head. All right, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment and let me know what did you find anything particularly helpful in this video, something maybe you didn't know or a reminder of something that you could maybe do in your home. I would love to hear about it. Just know that uh, we love you guys. I hope you follow me on Instagram. It's Rebecca Robeson and keep coming back. The next videos that we're going to be putting here on YouTube are all going to be about my new property that I bought and the home that I'm designing to put on that piece of land. And we just so happened to have gone camping. I mean, some of us went camping. I went glamping. So come back and see that video. It's a pretty funny one and it's a great one. All right, you guys, I love you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay? Bye-bye.